Hello everybody, Steve Main here, and I have, according to Hot's Log, played 99 games with Murky, the character seated before you, so I thought that today I would jump in, play the 100th game, because he is one of my favorite characters, he is more fun than I can think of, and I look forward to getting to run him around and blow things up, so we're going to queue up a quick match and see if we can't wreak a little havoc. You guys sit back and enjoy the ride. All right, we're loading into the Towers of Doom. We're going to be Murky, Lili, Sonya, Illidan, and Brightwing going up against Johanna, Kael'thas, Karazim, Nazebo, and Nuva. This is my 100th video, so I'm going to try and talk my way through it. Maybe do something a little silly, a little weird, a little fun. Although everything I do with Murky is fun, so that kind of, even if I lose a game, I'm having a good time. Murky's one of those characters who I just enjoy, I just laugh when I play. Yeah, even when my team sucks. <laughs> even when I'm sucking, I'm having a good time. So, what are good abilities to take here today? We got Nova, Johanna, Kelsos, Karajim, and Nazebo. <laughs> What are things I want to do today? I want to go bot lane. Around the 12 minute mark, I'm going to come up here and I'm going to drop my egg in this spot because it's super central. And it's just funny to be able to pop out in the middle and run anywhere. There's not a lot of lane pushing in this one. There is, to some extent, lane pushing. So I kind of want to be able to do... three, two. A lot of horrible things. Let the battle begin. Hmm. You know, and I have never done a Living the Dream build. What if I do a Living the Dream build? What would I take? Uh, basic attacks aren't a huge deal, except for Karazim. Bubble Breeze, and Bubble Gets Movement Speed, Block, so I don't think Block. I'm going to take Bribe. It's a little unwieldy on this level, because there's three mercenaries at every camp, but... No! The Zebo is coming for me! He's going to do horrible things to my family. Because he's a jerk. See? It takes a jerk to do that. So it's a pretty good step for him. <laughs> so I've never used Living the Dream Build. You know, I'm going to do a Living the Dream Build. I'm going to do this. Go back through here. What's the Hit the fountain. A hero has left the About battle. halfway to a stack on that. Hi, Nazebo! Oh, it's a rogue frog! <laughs> he is a rogue frog act! rise again. hard part about this one is that kind of need to stop Nazebo from getting the uh, bottom altar but at the same time alright we're going to take living the dream like all the others welcome back here Alright, what was I up to? I, huh. I'm gonna lose those here when I come back, though. Don? Oh, no. Oh! It doesn't count death unless I lose my egg. How interesting. Interesting. At least it doesn't seem to. Hey, fellas.
Uh, that's just gonna keep climbing. That's nice. I just don't. I just have to not die. Which is kind of a weird experience for me with Murky, not dying. So that won't matter. Alright, now we are going to take basic attacks, do extra damage against slime targets. That is a very fast run. Oh, this is beautiful. Alright, so we've got Brightwing in top lane. Doing Brightwingy things. I'm up to my full stacks on my... On living the dream, because I haven't been killed in a while. Back to five. Okay, so I always start at five. All right, so that's not too bad. It's not thrilling, but it doesn't suck beyond all reason either. <laughs> Let's do this. The altar is ours. Fire upon the grave keeper. You're losing your touch. I'm head back down to the bottom. Keep pushing. Because I like it to push in. I good at the pushing. I got me a stack. I'd like more, but I'll take what I can get here. Too bad. And the thing about that is it's all my abilities, so that doesn't seem like a huge deal, but I'll bet if I go Oh wow, well, if I go um March of the Murlocs. That's gonna get ugly fast. Yeah, she got me. Let's do yeah, let's do March of the Murlocs. Cause it's funnier every way I do it. Take the altars and put an end to the grave keeper. And it will not be stolen from me. Oh, they got me. Oh dear. <laughs> Those little Murloc baby spit marines. Mine, Jack. <laughs> I don't want you guys do that. I'm gonna come up here and be annoying. Oh, my 
You guys can have some free health, because health is awesome. Let's see, do I want to take mid? I think I want to take mid now. <laughs> I'm not going to make it through that. Oh, they got me. They got me. Ugly, too, man. That was just brutal. <laughs> ah, dice again. You know, as entertaining as living the dream is, it's being very, it's time is proving very difficult to uh, use. In my name. <laughs> Effectively, I should say, I guess. I mean, I'm not really doing anything to accomplish it, so that's kind of helpful. I guess I can swivel up here at this. And what do we want to do here? Oh, you know what? Let's just do puffer fish on slime targets. Enough of this charade. Bring down the grave keeper's core. So we're gonna do like a puffer fish build. I haven't done that. I've done it before. I've tried it every once in a while, but never really just full launch. And I'm gonna do a puffer fish build. As feeble as your words. Keep me, they keep me. <laughs> I'm gonna come up here. <laughs> there, Nazebo's taking back our bottom fort, but that's okay, because I'm gonna go take their top one now. I'm gonna make them chase me. Chase me to the ends of the air flood. That's my thing. Not too bad. And this thing doesn't have any ammo anymore. Over here, if you need me. No, she has kilted me in the most kiltable way possible. Heroes, I have opened a tunnel near our core that leads to the battleground center. Use it well. What? I mean, I do that. I opened my tunnel as well. Your enemy has destroyed it. The altars have risen. And I did it the other way around that time because I was worried about uh, this realm turns against you. About Nova come up on me. You guys have friends. Take uh Pufferfish Slimes is location. <laughs> I think got a good chunk of them, but we got one, so that's it. Bring down the gravekeeper's core. Just this 
Trying to get in front of Lily there, but fortunately, our our boy Illidan took her took out uh, Nova. So, once more, the altars rise. It will be again. I mean. Get this one. We're gonna do this because we're being murky. Be swift, heroes. All right. So it looks like everybody's down on the bottom lane doing bottom lane stuff. I got my full 15% on my armor. Ooh, that's ugly. Your ah. is over. Alright. You've lost this one, Raven Lord. It's Come down here. Drop that. Super worried about what just happened. They're trying to send mercenaries at us, but I'm going to be able to get the camp back before that becomes an issue. Yeah, it would have been different if they. They did not. I'll give them this. I mean, like, that was a good play. They got a lot of our people down. They went in for a full on uh, never ending battle. This will drop them to one, which I'm okay with. We can, end, you know, try and do something like grab bonus or something. Oh, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's do some murky goodness. Let us capture this mercenary cap. Oh yeah, let's do that. That'll be funny. Oh. And that's it. 
<laughs> oh, just rolling around. Doing... I like this. This is a neat build. I've Victory. never used it before. I'm not sure. I'm a huge, hugely attracted to um, uh, living the dream. It was interesting, but it's not something I think I'm going to take a lot of in the future. That being said, oh, their Nazebo did more siege damage than I did. I'm deeply let down myself. Really, I mean, just honestly, that's just sad. Still, funner than only eight deaths. That's actually pretty good. Living the dream did encourage me not to die as much. So, there is that. Um, damn, I like this. This was fun. Well, thank you folks for joining me for my 100th game. Uh, traditionally, these have been about 50-50, so I'm glad at least with this one I could win. Uh, I do love Murky. Just to show you off the build, just because I figure why the hell not, I took Bribe at 1. Uh, living the dream at four just to see how that works and it appears to affect my ultimate so that's actually makes it if i can have that up and then fire that off that's actually pretty cool slime advantage basic attacks deal additional 100 percent damage to slime targets um i probably could have used something else there i'll have to check and see what else i would have had access to march of the murlocs just because every once in a while it's fun to take octo grab and uh living the dream might have been also equally horrifying uh wrath of cod increases pusher fi puffer fish damage to 35 percent against slime targets and slimy pusher puffer fish it casts slime upon its landing which means that it will automatically be doing 35 percent extra damage all the time uh, never ending Murlocs just makes the Murlocs travel farther and gives them an extra two seconds. I am curious at seven, what would I have taken? Uh, increases slow, that could have been interesting. Ooh, increases the pufferfish radius by 50% instead of the slime advantage. Hmm. If I do that, I wouldn't take a bribe on this map. I might take Bubble Breeze and just move faster. Um, living the dream still good, although I might take bigger slime radius too, or tougher fish to make the uh, puffer fish go longer. Hmm, something to play around with the next time I roll Murky out. But for now, for today, there we are. Murky gets his 100th game. Thank you for joining me. I do appreciate you tuning in for this particular batch of weirdness. Um, I'd love to hear some comments down below, what you think of the match, Murky, the build, if you have any suggestions for the build. I'd love to hear those, too. While you're down there, please like and subscribe. You guys have a great day, and I'll see you all next time.